to create this design, you need to add a cube, then S and shift Z to scale it along the X and Y axis. Move it along the Z axis. Change the transform grid point to 3D cursor and scale it along the Z axis. Apply the scale. Change the transform period point to the bounding box. Snap the 3D cursor to the object and then shift A mesh add a cube. Take this cube at here and go to the rate mode. Select these words. Move them along the X axis and then S, Z scale them along the Z axis. So this is our cutter object. Select these two objects and then shift Q and use the boolean operation difference. Then apply the boolean modifier. Then delete the cutter object. Now you got this block out. Select this edge, select this edge and control B add bevel on it. Press C to avoid that clipping. Then select everything, press M and merge by distance. Then select everything and mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the minus y axis. Then select these words and press J to connect them. Select this edge and move it along the Z axis like this. And then create a cut in this way. And then add one loop cut here. So you will get smooth transition at there. Then select the object and hit the control 2 to add the subt modifier. Uncheck this option and go to the edit mode. Now you need to create right topology at there. Use the knife tool and create cut along the y axis. Then select this edge. Then control B and add bevel on it. Then select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the z axis. Then select this edge loop. And control B add bevel on it. Like this. Add a two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then select this edge. Right click, use the set flow on it. Then rotate it like this and just try to adjust its position. Then use the knife tool and create straight cut. And then dissolve this edge. Okay. Then create one cut here and add a few loop cuts here. Then dissolve this edge. Then add a few loop cuts here. Then select these faces. Use the insert operation. You can delete these faces. Select this each loop and then face grid fill. Turn on the simple blending. Yeah, this topology is good. Select this bottom each loop and control B add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel. Then give the proper bevel width. And then add loop cuts. Then select these faces and use the insert operation and use the loop tool circle option. Uncheck this flatten and then change the transform pivot point to the individual origin and scale it down. And one more time use the loop tool circle option. So you can get a proper circle at there. Then rotate it in this way. Then select this H, S, X and give the value 0. And move it along the y axis, x axis, little bit like this. Then select the spaces. Then use the insert operation. And press Ctrl X to dissolve the faces. And then extrude it. And move it along the x axis. And then S, X and give the value 0. Then use the insert operation. And then shade smooth it. Then select this each loop. And move it along the y axis and add one loop cut here. So you can get a smooth transition at there. Select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. And add one loop cut here and one loop cut here. Select this face, delete it. Select this edge loop and face grid fill. Adjust the offset. Then select these faces, increase the selection in this way and press P to make a separate object. Select this object, isolate it, then go to the edit mode, then select this edges and press F to fill the gap. Select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then add one loop cut here, select these words and connect them. Add one loop cut here and connect these words. And then select this edge loop, select this edge loop and control V add bevel on it. Add a 2 segment bevel and shift factor should be 1 and give the proper bevel width. You will get this kind of design.
Select this object. And now here you need to create right topology. Select this edges. And press F to fill the gap. Then select the edge and press F. Now select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Add one loop cut here. You will get this kind of design. Then select these faces, increase the selection, then use the insert operation and then right click loop to circle option. Check this flatten option, then scale down these faces in this way. Then control X to dissolve these edges, adjust the scale and use the insert operation. And use the insert operation, press Alt S to scale them along the normal. Then press Alt S to scale them along the normal in this way. Then select this face, use the insert operation, then select this edge loops and control B add bevel on them. And then select this face, delete it, select the edge loop and then face grid fill. Adjust the offset. You will get this kind of detail. And there you go. In this way, you can create this kind of design. You can see the topology you can see the form so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye see so next video take care